In beauty, our very own expert Trudy Brewer is here to share the latest trend and it is glitter. Morning Trudy. It is glitter and I've blown up the lighting grid today with so much glitter. You but really have. I'm going to actually own it because I love it. They've brought more sparkles and especially for you. Um, so it's a big thing on the beauty counters at the moment. How's it changed it's since the huge. 80s? It's everywhere. Well you know I wore it in the 80s and I'm still wearing it so I'm calling it an old new trend. What's changed is the way they make it. Again we're talking technology. It's made with polyester now so it's it's very sheer, it's very small, it's very delicate, and it's actually not, no, it doesn't look like a disco ball, I guess. Right, that's the thing, that's what I wanted to ask you, how do you avoid, I mean that's obviously probably not something that I will be rocking. I mean, there's a, there's but... a few very directional images in here that I pulled together, but there are also some subtle ones, which actually speaks to the trend of it being ageless, which I think it is now. Well, that's fascinating because I would have thought originally that maybe if you're a certain age, glitter was going to look a little bit... Well, I you. think shimmer and sparkle at a certain age makes you look more youthful. Matte makeup can actually make you look older than you are yeah. because it sits in your fine lines and your open pores and it actually accentuates a dry looking skin. Whereas if you're getting older and you want to just strategically place a little bit of glitter somewhere, a little bit of shimmer somewhere, your face comes alive. You look more youthful. Mm. So what's trending then regarding colour? Um, colours are more neutral. So lovely golds and beiges and metallic shades which are gorgeous. There's also some lovely peachy glittery shades, lovely bronzy shades like I said before. It's more about just strategically placing it somewhere where you just get a catch of it. Just It catches the light and it right. just lifts your, your look. So don't just roll your whole face in some glitter and no, think that you've done. No. And, and actually it. one tip is don't use your kids craft glitter. Got it. Because that is actually made from glass and cut in squares and hexagon shapes, whereas cosmetic glitter is made from iron oxide and the polyester and it's cut in a circle. So it doesn't actually get in your eyes and irritate your skin or irritate anywhere. So it's actually completely different glitter. So okay. keep away from the craft glitter for the face. Got it. That is a great tip, <laughs> everyone. So what is the grown up girl's guide to putting a bit of glitter on? You know, I always choose one feature on your face. Like today with you, you've got a slightly sparkly eyeshadow on and your fringe is just gracing your eyebrows and you just, you, the light catches your eyes and it just makes you look all sparkly and fresh. Bing, bing, bing. But I wouldn't go with both lips and cheeks and eyes because mm. that's when you might be at risk of looking a bit too shimmery. However, in saying that, if you're going out at night, you can play up glitter and maybe just add a dot of glittery gloss to the middle of the bottom mm -hmm. lip if you wanted to have that and wear a lips, just a plain nude lipstick. Um, so choose where you want to wear it. Choose either a liner or an eyeshadow. There's so many products around that makes it so easy because mainly you put it on with your finger. So, you know, it's easy to just add a little dot of glitter somewhere. Mm, those are some pretty good tips. I yeah. never want it though, don't use your kids' glitter. Don't craft use glitter. your kids' craft glitter. So what have you actually brought in today? Should we talk a little bit more about what okay. you brought in and how well, you use these things? Well, let's start with the eyes. I brought a couple of eyeshadows in. One of them are one of my absolutely favourite all-time brands, Urban Decay. Okay. That is a beautiful eyeshadow. Again, is that the right way? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Again, you can actually just apply this with your finger. So it's a pressed powder, but it actually glides Ooh. on more like a cream and less is more so you just put a tiny little bit across the upper lid. Can you see that on my hand? Hang on, am I angling enough? Just very subtle. Should have really moisturised my just, hands, shouldn't you I? You know, that with a little bit of bronzer and a gloss would just look gorgeous with black. That's black beautiful. Yeah. So you don't have to have like the dark in the corners and no. the light on the top, just you know, a bit of this on. I think there's no rules with makeup now, and I'm not a fan of actually sticking to a plan. You know, do what suits your eye shape. Again, just adding it on that eyelid to act like a little bit of a, a highlight, just in the middle of the lid, is beautiful. That's a new brand, well, newish, um, given that MAC launched 60 things a, a year. That's called Dazzle a dazzle um, shadow yeah. and there's also a dazzle glass lip gloss that goes with that. Again, that's iron oxide, pearly, beautiful, soft, shimmery and it's a gorgeous, nudie sort of that's colour. That's very soft. I should probably stop rubbing it in with my bruised fingernail, shouldn't that, I? That's that, not that's the best right. look in the world, is it? Slammed in um, a drinks corner. And this one I'm wearing today, actually, it's a stiller, it's a liquid, it's called Magnificent. Couldn't, couldn't not wear that one. Uh, it's a liquid cream, so you put that on, you don't get any fallout, and when I mean fallout, often when you apply eyeshadow, you'll mm -hmm. put it on and you'll find that it's all down on your cheek area. Yes. So that one is a liquid, you just Ooh. put it on, with the with the um, cr um, sponge applicator, okay, and then buff it in with a brush. I mean, you can just rub that. I'm going to rub finger. it in with my finger that doesn't have a big bruise on it. Here we go. 
And again, I mean, as the day goes on, that just looks amazing. And I think there's about eight shades or ten well, shades. That's lovely. That. That's, yeah, and that's gorgeous. really got good stickability. Fourteen shades, sorry. I should just check my notes. Fourteen shades in that, ranging from really soft neutrals like that one um, through to more of a blue and a, a violet, which are good for evenings out. Good stickability. Now, what um, about these brand ones? Brand new. I had to wrestle these out of Bobby Brown today. Um, brand new from Bobby Brown. They're called Long Wear Sparkle Sticks. I was trying to get them all the um, right way around, but there we go. We'll go there. Zing. They hit counters March Seven, uh, May 17, sorry. Right. And they are a gel, like a gel shadow in a stick formula that you just apply <gasps> to your lips. Ooh. I know, insane, insanely beautiful. You can tell I'm excited about glitter. Yeah, you? I love glitter too. And you, just, and you just buff that on the eye area. You can wear it under the eye. It's just gorgeous. Um, okay. So they, they, like I said, they're not, they're not, a, they're not on counter to make. And then I've just bought a few lip products in. This is um, a lip one. Yeah, that's uh, Mecca Max. That's just a sparkle gloss that you can put just a dot in. The middle of the bottom lip. Okay. Pop some on, Mel. Go on, just in the middle of the bottom of the lip there. Go okay, on. we're running out of time. I don't. I'm going to miss my lip entirely, aren't I? No, just a little bit there. Lips are dry. And there you've got just a little highlight in the bottom of the lip. To just give you a little there you bit go. shimmer. Lovely. And these are lip ones. And, and that's a liquid eyeliner, actually, also mm. Urban Decay. We've talked about that before, gel liner. Um, and finally, I bought in a natural brand, um, Bare Minerals. It's called Moxie Plumping Gloss. Beautiful. And it's got that iron oxide in it. Everybody wants a bit of plumping. Thank you so much, Trudy. Glitter. I love a bit of glitter. So nice. Uh, and for more from Trudy, you can go to her website, beautyeq.co.nz. <laughs>